Let me take a seat, y'all. Let me take a seat. Hi. How you doing? I'm, I'm smudging, baby. It's one of them type of days. You ever hit one of them type of days? When you had to get to the crib, get in your own little space, and grab your sage? You know about sage? Don't sleep on sage. Don't you sleep on no sage. Sage has many amazing benefits, I'll explain to you. But let me tell you why I had to come home and retreat to this. This is the first thing. This is the first thing I wanted to go and hit was my sage. I'm picking up my daughters from school today, three of them, 16, 14, 10, three of them. And they all fire size. When I say fire, I got a Leo and two Sagittarius. Two, two. Oh, that, that ain't two. These kids got me. Gord, cray, cray. I got two, two Sagittarius, a Leo, and I'm an Aries. Ooh, you know it. You already know how that, how that car is. It's hot. Hot like fire sizzling. Don't touch. I'm driving. They want to start questioning me like they my man. They recognize that I took a turn away from the house and want to be like, where you going? And I was a sucker. Sometimes they suck at me. You know, as parents, see, see this is how we get it wrong. When they ask us a question, we got to check them right then and there. Nip that shit in the bud. Because if we don't, they just start getting buck. They ask me one question, uh, where you going? I'm like, well, you know, being a sucker. I wasn't realizing it until after. And I'm like, damn, I was a sucker. But I'm like, oh, well, I got to go by the dry cleaners and pick up my, my clothes. Been in there for like a couple of weeks and whatnot. Then I'm going to go by all these. And um, then I'm going to go by the gas station. You know what I'm saying? And then they come with another question. Well, why are you going in all these? And here go my sucker ass. Sucker self. Well, um, you know y'all told me that we didn't have no eggs. And I'm about to make this cornbread tonight to go with this cabbage. It's going to be banging. You get what I'm saying? So I want, you know, some eggs. And then I do want me a Caesar salad again. Because you know they got the bomb Caesar salad. And, um, and then they cut me off. One, one shorty was like, well, how long you going to be in there? After that, the sucker mode got turned off. I was like, sure. I had to pull over right quick and be like, excuse me. I gave him a little, little, little something, something. Let him know. You better get your ass in that device and leave me alone. Get out my business. Because when we pull up in that gas station, ain't there one of y'all coming out y'all pockets with no sense. Nada. So don't you dare come and tell me where I could go and how long I could be there when I'm coming to pick you up. Boo boo. Back in my day, I was on feet. These, these kids these days, they don't know nothing about walking on their feet. Going from this bus stop, having to catch that bus to get to that bus, having to catch that bus to get to the L, get on the L, gotta go down the subway stairs, get on another bus. Or if that bus ain't coming and you running late for school, you better walk. My seeds barely want to walk down the driveway without tripping. So that's why I burn my sage. <laughs> sage alleviates stress, baby. You got any type of anxiety? You got any type of stress just living in this society, society dealing with people's, people's and their attitudes, people's and their opinions and unsolicited advice, people's and they all various personalities, but amongst all things, people and their energy. You heard me. Because you know, energy is never destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Energy just transfers. Who you been around today? What energy you done picked up today? You better think about that and get you some white sage, baby. Because white sage purify. Purify um, certain objects and things. And it um, removes bacteria that's within your environment. You know what I'm saying? Harmful bacteria. It also um, heightens your intuition. That's another thing why I love about the sage, baby. Heightens your intuition. And me raising six daughters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. 
I always want that third eye to be on point. You got to be active, baby. So even when these eyes is closed, you is active. I let my seeds know what you do in the dark, come out in the light. I'm too close to spirit. It's going to let me know. It's going to let me know. So another thing that I want to talk about today besides um, sage and why is to your benefit to use it as, as a way to be able to alleviate any type of stress or anxiety that you may have instead of you going to the medicine cabinet, your dick, your dick. Because that's my goal. That's always my goal. If I'm telling you something about something, the whole thing is like stay your ass away from the hospitals. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. You could cure yourself by knowing about your chakra system. That's what I want to give you some information more so about your chakra, your root chakra in particular. That's your first chakra. It's located at the base of your spine, baby. And that chakra um, has all, it regulates your survival. You know what I'm saying? That's your connection to this earth, to this planet. It, it makes you feel solid and assured. It gives you the cur courage, the strength, the will for you to be able to Make sure your basic needs is taken care of, that you can feed yourself when you're hungry, that you have shelter, that you can pay your bills. It gives you that strength and that ability to be able to focus on making the money. It's your money maker. You want to take care of that root chakra because your money will be funny and your change will be strange. If your root chakra is off balance, real talk, because like I say, it's all about your basic survival. Energy is located there there so you got to make sure that that energy is at the frequency that it needs to be on to attract the things that you need so that your basic needs are taken care of so thus you can be able to live a fulfilled life and feel connected in this world that you're in it, it connects like i said it connects you to to mother earth baby it connects you to mother earth and you need to be connected to mother earth mother earth created everything around us so you got to have that connection. You want to feel solid and assured living in the space that you're in. Feel like you belong because you do belong. You were destined to be here. You have a purpose to fulfill. So have your root chakra actively open so that you can receive all the energies you need to make your money, to make sure that your basic needs are taken care of so you can start climbing the ladder of success, fulfilling your true destiny. You feel what I'm saying? So you want to tell you another thing about that root chakra is where your animal instincts is at animal you get what i'm saying so if you know something is wrong with you or not wrong but you know that you need to work on that root chakra right that's at the base of your spine that's that first one if you're the type of person that get easily offended somebody say something to you out of pocket somebody look at you the wrong way you ready to just bounce you feel what i'm saying no words about it you just like taking stuff off like you race the gold vaseline in your pocket you rubbing it on your face you rest the gold wig is off you rest the pop off all them folks on world star and you know what i'm saying root chakra issues because that's that animal instincts and you supposed to have control over that animal instinct that's within you it that your flight and fleet energy is there so you have to be able to make sound decisions, to have the ability to be able to make sound decisions and know when and when not to turn that animal instinct on. And it's supposed to come on for the purposes of you taking that to have the strength, the fearlessness within you to work with, navigate yourself within this earth to make sure your basic needs is taken care of because you were not created to be poor. You were not created to be unhappy, to be sad, to be filled with stress and anxiety, worry, and, 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 and all type of trauma that is preventing you from being your best self. You weren't created for that. Your destiny is, is so overwhelmingly bigger than anything you could ever imagine. So do yourself a favor and take care of your chakras so that you can align yourself so that you can align yourself with your destiny. 
You got to flow at the correct frequency. You got to flow at the correct frequency so you could attract things upon that frequency. So start with that first chakra, that root chakra right there. Get that in order. If you have issues with paying your bills or keeping stability in your life, whether it's with food, whether it's with shelter, whether it's re with relationship. No, not relationship. I take that back. It's about your basic needs. You got to make sure that you got a, 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 a source of income that's allowing you to be able to live a life where all your basic needs are taken care of. If that's not you, take care of your chakras. One of the things that you can do to be able to heal your root chakra and start to open it up is connect with Mother Earth. Because like I said, it connects you. When you have that chakra open, you have that connection to Mother Earth. That's why you're able to have the will and the wherewithal to navigate within this world that you feel confidently being in to get the things that you need, right? So you got to connect to Mother Earth. Yes, go hug a tree, goddammit. And what? And what? Go hug a tree. They don't stink. They smell real good. That fresh air ain't no joke, baby. Better than some of the fragrances you get off of people that's out here in the real world. Not real world, but you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. So go hug you a tree. We live within a world that want to talk about tree huggers, but those are the ones. Those are the ones. So fan you a tree, is plenty of them. They don't be hating. They ain't going to think you cheating on them. You can hug a different tree every day, and it won't be no beef with nobody. I'm telling you, it'll make you feel so much closer to Mother Earth. Take your shoes and socks off. Feel the bare ground. Feel the soil. Feel the grass. Talk to the animals. I'm telling you, connect to Mother Earth, and Mother Earth will stay connected to you. Take care of your chakras, y'all. And your chakras will take care of you, all right? Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification button. I got other videos here. I definitely want you to check them out because I not only talk about the chakra system, you know, I not only talk about the chakra system and other things that's related to the chakra system, like holistic healing practices and behaviors and such, I also talk about the topic of porn because that um, affects our health as well. You get what I'm saying? And, and folks ain't talking about it and they need to talk about it. And just like we need to talk about the chakra system because they'll teach you about the respiratory system. They'll teach you about the skeletal system. They'll teach you about the immune system, the digestive system, the circular system. The indoctrine system, they'll teach you about those systems. But ask yourself, why aren't they teaching you about the chakra system? A system within your body that regulates your mental and your physical and your spiritual well-being. Why aren't they telling you about this? That's for your reason why you need to know. So follow me. Because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to take a deal. Because I'm that chick that I'm going to tell you what they ain't going to tell you. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Because knowledge is power. And we in this together. You know what I'm saying? We in this together. I love you like I love me. Not like I love me, but you, you, you kind of get what I'm 